How's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about the difference between an H.264 codec and a ProRes codec. Now, for those of you guys watching the channel, this is a topic that you may know about, but it's a question that I get a lot, so we're gonna revisit it for just a sec. So before we address anything, we have to talk about what is a codec. A video codec is a piece of software that affects the file size of the video file, as well as the image quality of the video file. If you take this paper as an example of all the information in the video, a codec is going to compress that paper. The smaller that the paper is compressed, the smaller the file size of the video file, which is great. It means it'll upload to YouTube or any other kind of video hosting platform easily. It could be shared more easily just in general. But the smaller that the video file size is, meaning the more that it's compressed, the less information that you're able to actually hold in the video file. So the image quality goes down. So the more that you compress it, the less the video quality, but the smaller the file size. If you don't compress it enough, you end up with a video file that has a lot of image quality, but the file size is huge. So the thing is, the codec needs to find the perfect medium depending on the situation that you're in. The cool thing about the H.264 codec is it actually does the math for you and gives you the perfect medium to give you a file size for a video file that's small enough to easily be uploaded to YouTube, but that isn't compressed enough to limit the image quality too much. The thing about an H.264 codec is it's something called a final codec or maybe a distribution codec. This is a codec that you export your video to when you're done. You're ready to upload it to the internet and you aren't gonna go put it in Premiere and have to export it out again. The reason is if you were to put in an H.264 codec file, back into Premiere and export it again, you're gonna throw off that balance and you're gonna compress the file to a point where you're gonna actually see a reduction of image quality. Okay, now hold that thought. We're gonna talk about ProRes now. ProRes is something called an intermediate codec because it does the mathematics a little bit differently. This is a codec that you use when say you're trying to maybe export out a motion graphic out of After Effects to put into your Premiere project. You know that at the end of that Premiere project, you're gonna to wanna to export all of that together out again via Premiere so you don't wanna compress things two times. So what you wanna do is you wanna use a ProRes codec out of After Effects. This is a codec that does compress your video file a little bit, but it's very, very minimal. It's so good as far as the minimal compression goes that a lot of the time people will treat ProRes files as almost raw files. Raw files have absolutely no compression at all. So people often take ProRes files and color grade them as if they're using a raw file because you can get so much latitude in the color adjustments when compared to a compressed codec like H.264. So as you may have already guessed, a ProRes file has minimal compression, which means that it has a massive file size. These file sizes are crazy big. So they aren't very good for uploading on the internet. YouTube doesn't even take them because they're too big. I think you can maybe upload ProRes files onto your Vimeo account. So if you are a normal person, you know, exporting out a video that you're gonna put on Instagram, YouTube, anywhere on the internet, you're gonna probably wanna use H.264. I'm gonna tell you a funny story about my past life as a video editor in the corporate world. I remember I just got out of college like 10 years ago and I started working for this massive paintball company and I actually made and shot a commercial for him. I was like their in-house video production editor, shooter guy. I created the commercial, I exported it out and I sent it over to you know this company that was gonna put the commercial onto TV and they broadcasted the commercial and it looked horrible. It looked all like basically compressed and weird and the video quality was horrible. And they were like, Josh, what happened? What did you do? And I was like, I don't know. I just exported out the usual way that I export things. Turns out that the people that put the commercial on the TV actually put the file back into Premiere. I think they wanted to maybe add a call to action, tweak some colors or something. They then exported it out, which meant they compressed it a second time. When they actually put the commercial onto TV, it looked horrible and they didn't understand why. So it was an issue on both of their parts. Number one, I did not export out and give them a ProRes file, which I should have known is kind of like the normal way of delivering any type of major video project to say, put on TV. And they, for whatever reason, I guess didn't check, exported out again and didn't realize how bad it looked until it was too late. So it was a horrible thing all around. It was a learning experience. It's really important to know the situation that you're in and know which codec is applicable to that situation. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys are able to check out our channel sponsor, Envato Elements. It is Envato Elements that sponsors all these videos, allows us to continue to put free content for you guys to listen to. Really appreciate all the support you've been giving them. That helps them support us. Envato Elements basically gives you millions and millions of quality digital assets, whether it be sound effects packs, transition packs, Premiere Pro, After Effects templates, anything you can think of in the world of digital products, they have, and it's amazing stock footage. So please check them out. I use them literally every day. You can get your first month absolutely for free, unlimited downloads, just by clicking the link below. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Actually, I have two more videos that I want you to watch. And once again, remember to keep it chill.